بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد what is the position of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah regarding Ahl Bayt Ahl Bayt Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in kama qala Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala said about Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah he said qal wa yuhibbuna Ahl al-Bayt Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَيَتَوَلُّونَهُمْ Follow Shaykh al-Islam that Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah from their characteristics is that they love Ahl al-Bayt the family of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they have allegiance to them you know they're their supporters Shaykh bin Uthaymeen rahimahullah ta'ala said in regards to this when explaining Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah's Aqidah al-Wasatiya which is the Aqidah, the creed of Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah regarding various aspects of creed of Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah things from everything from the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship in accordance with his divine names and attributes Subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Arkan al Iman and Usul Iman, you know, the pillars of Iman, the pillars of faith, and various other aspects of the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Shaykh al Islam said, Wa yuhibbuna Ahl al Bayti Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa yatawalluna hum that. Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, they love Ahl Bayt. They love the family of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they are their supporters and protectors. Bin Uthimeen said, Ay, women usul Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, and whom you hibbuna Ahl Bayt. Ahl Bayt Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you hibbuna whom li amrain. Will he corb, li corbati, li corbati, me Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَلَا يَقْرَهُونَهُمْ أَبَدًا Shaykh bin Uthimeen rahimahullah ta'ala he said that the foundation of the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah is that they love the family of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Ahl Sunnah we love them for two main reasons the first reason for Iman, meaning this is a part of Iman Billah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated this fi kitabihi, fi kitabihi al kareem in the Quran and in accordance to the wahi of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam meaning the revelation that was revealed to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is a part of our Iman that we love Ahl Bayt as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered us to love them alayhi salatu was salam and the second reason that Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah loves Ahl Bayt is because of their closeness to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they absolutely never uh, have any enmity towards them the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said أذكركم الله في أهل بيتي that أذكركم أذكركم الله في أهل بيتي that the the أهل بيت they should be remembered and Allah سبحانه وتعالى that a, a part of it is that a person that Ahl Sunnah that they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about transgressing the rights of Ahl Bayt of the family of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that means Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah 
does not follow the path of the extreme Sufis and the extreme the Rafida, who the Rafida, with regards to the family of the Prophet وسلم, and Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, uh, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, they exalt them over their status to the extent that some of the Rafida worship Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, as what happened in Hadith literature, that some of the Rafida they called Ali Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Ali radiallahu ta'ala an, he burned them for this. And even while they were having the fire stoked, they said, this is proof that you are Allah, because only Allah punishes with fire. So that shows you how misguided those people who preceded the Rafida but are of the Rafidah and of the same minhaj as the Rafidah, those people who curse the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiallahu ta'ala'inu majma'een and they worship some of Ahlul Bayt and raise them above their status similar to the way the Christians exalted Isa, Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam over his status as we love Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam he was a prophet and a messenger alayhi salatu wasalam but we don't worship him we don't believe he shares with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in divinity as we don't believe that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam shares in divinity with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so everything in its rightful place everything in its proper place nor are we like the Nusayriya or the, the those other groups that curse Ahl Bayt, that hate Ahl Bayt, وَعِيَادٌ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ But rather we love them in accordance with our Iman and those who came after them, those people who are still in the bloodline of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we love them in accordance with their Iman. Meaning that if they are of the bloodline of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they have bid'ah and they have shirk and some of them have even went into kufr, then we don't love them for being, uh, leaving Islam or being into kufr. And we love them in accordance with their iman. If they have weak iman and a lot of bid'ah, then of course they don't have any greater status than others. They don't have other status greater than the believers from Ahl Sunnah. But rather their fadl, their benefit is because they're related to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But that is not sufficient for them to save them from the hellfire. Abedin, no. But rather, that is a benefit that Allah has bestowed upon them. And if they practice Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then they have the full benefit. They have the benefit of being related to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they have the benefit and the love of the believers and they have the benefit of being from Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.